like that. You are tuning in to the first ever Ooh. Delco Duo. We made it to TV. I don't know who allowed this to happen. <laughs> this is bad news bears. And if you're confused why it's 1130, you know, we are not talking about weather and traffic. We actually have a brand new product yep. to bring to you with Delco Duo. Yes, I'm Monica Cryan. I usually do the weather for PHL 17 Morning News, but tonight is a whole different space. <laughs> And I'm Jenna Meisner, of course, traffic anchor with PHL 17 Morning News. But this is the Delco Duo. Yep. And if you're wondering, okay, what am I watching? Uh, let us explain a little bit what this show is going to be about. So each and every week, viewers submit us their problems anonymously, completely mm -hmm. anonymously. And we give you our two cents on life, love, any type of relationship, it could be a coworker, a family, Neighbors. neighbor, really, we will get into every topic you want us to get into. Yes, and it's always fun. We'll kind of talk a little bit about our own problems that we have, too. So we have two submissions from you guys. Thank you, everyone who has... You and know. if you're watching and you're wondering, well, how do you already have submissions if this is the first show? Uh, this has been a podcast for 40 something episodes. Yeah, it's been over a year that we've been doing this. We've so. had to prove ourselves for over a year <laughs> that we are, we should bring this to television. And now they finally let us onto TV. At a year's worth of experience, we are basically therapists at this point. I said to Monica, do you just want to go online and like get a quick certificate and actually become therapists? Because mm -mm. that's basically what we are doing here. Yeah, but I don't, I don't want to certify. Certificate. Like, I, I, I don't want to bring any kind of expertise to this. I just want it to be a total Delco take to how I would handle so the problem. So you're saying don't take my word for this? Like, I'm, I'm offering you my advice, yes. but maybe not follow it all of the time. Or, or not even don't follow it, but just know that, you know, I'm not going to give you the, the easy route. Okay. You know, I'm, you're going to get results. It is the road if you use less our traveled. <laughs> so the way we kick off these shows now, yep. we are going to start with the debrief. Yes. So the debrief, just to kind of go over what we've been doing, what we have coming up before we get to your problems. And it's a special day. Not only are we kicking off the Delco duo, but we're kicking off a new a whole year. Another year for Monica for Cryan. It is your birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you. I I love my birthday. I kind of am one of those who makes birthday a huge brat. <laughs> Just say it like it is. You are a birthday brat. I really thought because this so we have pictures from my 30th. I really thought after my 30th, I was done celebrating birthdays. Look at the glasses. Like you just want everyone to know this is your Ooh. party. Look at me. I am 30. Birthday bash. So this was one of my favorite. Yeah. I have that many friends. Or I, I just, said, I wish I knew Monica when she was having this we party. We met right after this. We met right after this. But if I had known you, I totally would have been here because this looks like it was a blast. It was. We had so much fun. Um, we did a um, booze cruise um, in Avalon. And we... You know, I had a lot of friends, obviously. I have a lot of friends, but I felt Past like... Since you've lost a few since yeah. this birthday. <laughs> I would definitely not be able to throw the same party. <laughs> not everyone would show up. But you would. You're, you're, I'd uh, be there for you, yeah. Yes, you would. Um, so I make a huge deal of my birthday, not because I want people to celebrate me, but it's a few days before July 4th. You know what I mean? It's that party weekend. It's a party weekend. Everybody's so ready to go and so ready to have fun. And I'm just like letting them use my birthday. Do you ever birthday. struggle with the attention being on July 4th? Because, you know, right, right, you, right. you don't, let's say, you love attention. I do. You love to be the center of attention. So is it hard to share your birthday with, you know, America's independence? I think a lot of people would, people who also have, not been accused, but like everybody's like, oh, you love being center of attention. What I really love is being center of attention of people who are happy. Like I want to make everyone really, really happy. So I'm just trying to like lift up every, not like I'm not the uplifting. Yeah. And so that's why I love throwing these type, kind of parties. I just love r walking around and seeing everyone having a good time. And, and that's, that's just a nice spin to it. Yeah. Like, I think that's what center of attention isn't necessarily that I just want to make sure everyone's happy. So I'm sure just, everyone's having fun. Yes. Enjoying themselves. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> so, all right. Well, happy, happy birthday and no better present than kicking off Delco duo. Woo! Here is our first topic. This is Barb from Boothwin, and Barb says, I work from home, and my neighbor's kids play their music loudly by the pool. Mm. Uh-oh, Barb, close that window. And I'm sure... <laughs> <laughs> that, 
There you go. Jenna, <laughs> if Barb could cl- solve the problem in a window closing, I'm sure she would not have we written have in. have to do the basics here. Barb might have her window open. I actually think you're kind of, I'm, I'm going to go along the lines of I'm sorry, Barb, but school's out for oh. the summer. Summer. And sorry you're working from home, but these kids got to play. Um, she says play loudly at the pool. Well, what do you want them to do? Be quiet at the pool? How do you play at a pool and be quiet about it? At this point, I think either you move or you... (laughs) (laughs) You put your house for sale, Barb. (laughs) It's over. If it's an apartment, I'm out. But if it's like house for sale, you got to insulate headphones. There's nothing you can do. It's really hard because I know when we hang out outside by the pool in the summer, we like to play music. And I'm always consciously thinking, okay, like what type of music are we playing? Is it, you know, family friendly? Because there's, mm-hmm. you know, some kids in the neighborhood. But obviously we're older. So if these are like teenagers. That's really nice. Of I don't think they're thinking that. They're not. I always was so awkward. Like when we would go to the beach and we would bring like a boom box because that's like that's what, that's what we'd have to bring. Aging yourself on your birthday. <laughs> we'd have to bring like a boom box. And um, they would always play bad, like my friends would play like bad music because they thought they were so cool. And it would make me so uncomfortable because I knew I was making families around me uncomfortable. And I hated that feeling. But people just do it. Kids do it. And you kind of just got to deal. And I think there's plenty of places to go if you, you know, you're still working from home, but maybe try to find a quieter location. Do you live near a library? Do you yeah. live near a coffee shop? I know you don't really want to move all your stuff with you, but if it's really bothering you that much, you, I don't want Barb to rain on these kids' parade. They're out of school. They're Let them school have some for fun. A few months. Maybe passively, aggressively mention it to the parents like oh your kids really have a fun time by the pool yeah and see you know if the parents are kind of oh I know I've been telling them to turn it down just get the vibe right but it does say that she's asked them to turn it down five times so at this point that part Mm. you you've you've they don't care about you Barb if you've asked them five times they're like yeah they they're just out there to have fun and I think you got to find other ways to insulate you can put things up so that it's yeah earplugs you told her to move so now you want her to buy like a couple of dollars that's what I'm doing. Earplugs rather than put her house up. That's for what sale. I'm doing. I'm, I'm moving. Thank you. Sorry. Uh, you kids have fun. That's it's, what I was saying. It's really hard because you don't want to be like the grumpy neighbor, but it seems like Barb's being yeah. the grumpy neighbor. Don't be the grumpy neighbor. All it does is it makes them more angry and and less likely to follow what you're asking them to do. Um, so hey, we never said on the Delco Duo we were going to give you the b- easiest answer. This is a tough one. Mediocre advice at best. All right, <laughs> coming up next. Someone in Clifton Heights needs our help. Monica, are you scared of commitment? Uh, I've been married for eight years. All right, we'll talk about that. I hate commitment. After the break. But I'm committed. (laughs) Woohoo, you stuck with us. Okay, (laughs) so we are now going to get uh, to our next issue in just a bit. But just a reminder, people submit these problems to us, and we keep you totally anonymous. Everything is made up including the town name. We give you a Delco town name. You might be from Montgomery County, That's Bucks a good County. point. We, we're not discriminating. You can come from any county. Yes. We will solve your problem if you're from Bucks County, Jersey, Delaware, the state of Delaware. Not New will, York City. We will solve your problem for Stay you. Stay out of here, New York. But we're going we're gonna to place you in a Delaware County town because we are the Delco duo. And we're giving you Delco advice. So that's, that's how this works. You, your town, completely anonymous, your name, and even sometimes gender. I'm switching yep. up genders, oh, okay? You do you. All right, so let's get to our next topic. Kara from Clifton Heights. Why can't I commit? Cara. And she goes on to say... I'm a hopeless romantic. All I dream about is finding someone and building something amazing. But once I'm in a position where everything is perfect and I'm in love, I turn the other way and look for something new. She runs. She's a runner. She's a track star. She's getting out of there. Yeah. She's ghosting so many people left and right. I... Don't feel bad. Said to Monica, of course, we had a pre-show discussion Mm because this is a very professional (laughs) broadcast. (laughs) So in our pre-show discussion, I said, you know... Nothing against men, but I'm surprised that you picked a female because typically in my experience and my friends' experiences, it's normally men who sometimes have a tougher time committing. Do you feel that way or do you feel differently? Tougher? No, I've actually always felt like a lot of the men I know um, really just 
when they found someone, they were very loyal. Whereas I've known a lot more of my friends, mm -hmm. um, family, girls in my family and, um, and my friends who I felt like found really great men and then just kind of turned around and was looking for something so much more. And I think that this is the problem Kara is having. Why, why are you looking for Mr. Perfect? No one is perfect. You're not perfect. That's not right to put anyone under that kind of pressure on that kind of pedestal. You got to stop. When you're with someone long enough, they're going to annoy you and you're yes. going to find problems with them. Lord. So it's sort of that like the grass is not always greener mentality mm -hmm. and Kara is self-sabotaging. Yes. Getting into her head, self-sabotaging before you even have the chance to see if this is something legitimate and could be great. What it like really what do you think is going to happen? Haven't you seen ev like all of your friends relationships you see that in the end yes they they it starts out just like all puppy love that infatuation and once that wears off you need to learn how to be a real human in a relationship and and real life real yeah, problems real life real problems and yeah it's not as much fun but that's not what life is all about fun 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 it's about you know the tough parts, the crazy parts. And so I just, there's no one perfect out there. And I, I'm questioning, I'm a hopeless romantic. She went on to say that. So she's already admitting defeat. <laughs> I, I don't know, though, that she is a hopeless romantic. Because in my opinion, hopeless romantic people, sure. they see the benefit in every single doubt. They want it to work so bad. They're the ones that show up to your house with the boom box. We're talking about a boom box again. Say anything. On their shoulder. You know, yeah. like that to me is a hopeless romantic. Not someone that's like, oh, I, I like you, but I'm Return out. It. Yeah. That, see, that's what I mean. I think people get confused because it's like the whole infatuation stage. And then once that wears off, they're like, there's no romance. Well, okay. You said you've been married for eight years. Yeah, and I dated Eugene before that. We, I, we've been basically together for 13 years. So give some advice on commitment then. Because I've only been, you know, dating, married less than a year, but yeah. dating coming up on four years. So you have a lot more skin and, in this game. And actually what I think, is, you know, that's really committed too. You guys kind of really committed to each other Fast. early. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I wouldn't, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying you guys like rushed into anything. I'm just saying like, <laughs> it's fast because you yeah. and Tate, I think are, are super committed people. You guys are really loyal to your friends, your family. And you kind of, I feel like saw that in each other and you're like, oh great. Yeah. I found the most loyal person I could ever find. And so then you both were like, this is the direction. Well, the other problem in. with commitment is people get comfortable. So they'll be dating for 10 years even longer than that sometimes. And there's no step forward. You know, maybe yeah. someone doesn't want to get married or whatnot. So I think there's two elements to this commitment problem. The one problem, you, you're you out, you ghost people when it gets, starts to get too serious. Right. The other problem is it, it's comfortable and nothing changes. I think what you need to look at is the person's core. Like, you know, um, my friend, a lot easier said than no, done. No, but what I mean is just are they essentially a nice, good person? What are their foundations? What are what their foundations? them them? Yes. If they have like little quirks or, or you know, a little bit of a different outlook, you got to look past it. At their core, if they're a good person, commit, done, move on. Dive in, Kara. Dive in. Stop being a scaredy cat. No, I didn't mean move on. What I mean is like move on to the next step. All right. It's time, Kara. Sorry. Tough advice, yet again. Coming up, <laughs> it's my birthday, but I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> I have so many questions. We gotta about talk this. about my pain now. Stay with us. Airing those grievances on your birthday. And welcome back. You are watching the Delco Duo. Saturday night. Woo, it's so fun. Uh, we're so happy to have you here with us. Now, we've reached the point in the show yep. where we are going to bring our own issues to this table. So we've talked about your issues that you've sent us. And we want to give you a little bit more of an insight into our lives because we're dealing with problems, too. And I'm sure similar problems to others. So this is a good way to relate. And I'm sure, you know, many people will understand what we're talking about when we have our different issues so whose issue is it this week i don't know let's see roll it what's monica crying about 
<laughs> and that's actually what she sounds like when she cries, too. Whenever anybody, you know, I'll talk to someone on the phone and I'm like, oh, uh, my name's Monica Crying. And they're like, crying? I'm like, yep. Crying. Like the verb. And it's funny that that's your last name because you told me before that you don't cry really. You only cry when you're really mad. Uh, yes, when I don't cry sad, when you're sad. You don't cry, but when you're really mad, you do cry. That is. Oh. Fun fact about Monica, oh. and I hate that because like your face gets all red. Yes, and and you're just like I'm not making the points I want to be making because I'm angry. I'm not upset, but you're seeing me as sad, and I'm not sad right now. I'm pissed off. Okay, huge. I'm not sad right now. I'm mad at you. Yeah. But I just immediately start to get all like upset and cryy, and then when I am really sad about something, I laugh because that's how you deal with grief. <laughs> really, like, really, when when important people like pass away yeah. in in my life, I just immediately go. <laughs> I, think, I think many people can relate to that. It's so bad. It's so embarrassing because you're trying to get it together. But that's for another time. So my issue this week um, is not with anyone necessarily in my life. Usually, it's you know with friends, family, huge most like, most of the time. Uh, for our loyal watchers who have gone from podcast now to TV, <laughs> yeah. you guys all know my husband, love him, but he kind of goes through the ringer here. This week, I'm mad at myself. Um, Monica versus Monica. This, yeah. is, this is a first. So the first episode, the first time yes. that we've had an issue where you're mad at you. Where I'm mad at myself. What did you do to you? Um, I I waited way too long. I have, um, since I was m much, much younger, I would say in high school, um, I've been dealing with really bad back pain. Um, and I think I just started off thinking, and this is just such a woman thing, that it was a woman problem. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, oh, you got lower back pain. Monica. That's what they tell you. Back pain. <laughs> they tell you, oh, yeah, you know, it's a girl thing. Growing pains, women pains, just deal with it. I literally thought it was just like a woman pain. I know pain. more men than women who have back pain in my life. Oh, God, I'm a man. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So this started in high school, but it was like on and off, okay. on and off. And I just, again, never really thought I kind of just was like. Grin and bear it. Yeah. Dig in. Good you for know, you. Don't I would be complaining my head off. Grin and bear it until I would say, you know, uh, about a few oh, years last ago. week you decided to take care of it. Well, Not a few years ago. It became like a screaming back pain within the last six months. Okay. <clears throat> I had my second baby eight months ago, so you do the math. That's what definitely, like, moving things around yeah. inside. And then um, all of a sudden, within the last six months, it's actually gotten distracting, like on air, um, doing the forecast. Couldn't and breathe. I couldn't breathe, hard time breathing, and I just felt like uh, most of the time I just wanted to lean over like this. Like, uh, <gasps> and you can't do that. On TV. You can't. But I think I would, like, at the desk. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like this at the desk. And I really thought, I think it was because of this, like, screaming pain. And I kept thinking, okay, I'll do yoga. Like, that's what I'm doing right now. Like, I'm, I'm spending my time that's doing yoga. That's probably making it worse. Possibly. Stretching is good, but I don't know that. Yoga. If you can't breathe, that you should be trying to do yoga. Oh, yeah. The whole time I'm like, <sighs> Um, so I finally set an appointment with a chiropractor and I called a bunch of places. I went to the first place that could take me. So I'm like, please, I'll, I'll in come in Delaware County in, in Delco. And I'm like, please, 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 please. So I go in and the guy just goes, okay, you know, your, your alignment's totally off. He goes, look at this. You know, your shoulders are at different heights. Your hips are totally unaligned. You're just totally different levels. And I'm looking in the mirror. I'm like, how have I not noticed that before? I mean, it, it came to the ears. My ears were like off. That <laughs> I don't is think you wild. can see it now. I know. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, I want to like go home and look in the mirror. Do my yes. ears look like they are the same? Um, let me see. Mm. Well, you got big Tory Burch earrings on right now. <laughs> I can't really tell. They're weighing it down. <laughs> oh, I have back pain because my earrings are too big. They're beautiful earrings. <laughs> so. He, he um, does some realignment. Really, he's like, you know, I got to work on your heels. You know, a lot of your weight, your whole body is in your heels. And, and he's just telling me all this stuff. And I'm like, okay, it sounds pretty simple. He does like a few movements. Did you hear it crack? I heard a few cracks, but it oh. wasn't like crazy. I thought that's what it was going to be like. Crick, 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 crick. I heard a few cracks, but he was really just doing like a lot of muscle movement, this, that, and the other thing. All of a sudden, I look in the mirror again, and he takes me back in front of the mirror. My ears are at the same level. It wasn't like he manipulated anything. It wasn't like he fixed the mirror or anything and he's some... This ears thing. I just... You know, like medicine man. He it, he just was like, no, you're just so unaligned. Is your life different now? 
entirely. Can you breathe? I can breathe. I'm so glad you can breathe. I feel, uh, I walked out of there. I, I thought it would Feeling take like a months, million bucks. A million bucks. I was like, And you oh. were never diagnosed with anything prior. No. And I think that's what I'm mad about is because I wasn't diagnosed or I just, you know, I thought it was just like growing pains. And then after a while, I thought it was just woman pain. And that's so ridiculous that all it took was a 45 minute realignment. So my advice to you would be. Don't, I don't need advice. Don't Tata. wait <laughs> multiple years if something's hurting you. Just take care of it. Take care of and it. You wouldn't I'm be so mad at screaming pain. For years. This could have been dealt with so much sooner, so much better. It probably wouldn't have gotten that bad if I had just done this maybe a year ago. If I had handled this a year ago, if I had handled this five years ago, I'm mad at myself that I haven't been feeling this good. All right. So if you don't feel well, I, I'm an fix even it. cooler person now. Like, you know, I've been so cool these past few years. And now, you know, look. I did notice that your ears looked more aligned. Mm -hmm. Can't you tell? Alignment, <sighs> baby. All right. Well, I'm happy that you solved your issue and you just, just wanted to tell everyone I need about you to it. I tell you guys. I can't believe I've been like <laughs> okay. that. I'm so mad. We have a lot more ahead, but before we head to break, here's some Delco trivia for you. I like this. What is the oldest bar in Delaware County? We're going to tell you after the break. All right, have you thought about it? What's the oldest bar in Delaware County? I feel like everyone has like their favorite hole in the wall that they're thinking of right now. And they're right. like, oh, it's definitely it's old state. It's gotta be, yes, yeah. It's gotta be, what did you say? <laughs> this, but it could be Barnaby's. Duffers. Duffers. Um, no, yeah. they're all wrong. Uh, Plumstead Inn, remember that guy. All right, answer is the Old Rose Tree Tavern. And if you're thinking like, what is that? Um, you know, Rose. <laughs> you know what that is? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> but I it, like you think about it. It's hard to. So, you know, it's if you're driving down 252, you're passing Rose Tree Park. Oh, she's getting into her traffic. It used to be on the corner. Yes. And many a moons ago, they moved it. Just pushed they, it back. They were widening. 252 because it was so getting they pushed so it back yes so they pushed it back um and it was a tavern i believe in 1739 1739 1739 was when it was allowed to operate as a tavern uh and since then it is still standing they renovated it and now it is the delco visitors offices so like visit delco right. that they work out of there so it doesn't serve beer anymore it does not serve beer anymore but it is such a cool piece of history if you haven't seen it and and it, i remember when they moved it back it was yeah. so uh, moving buildings is so weird to me they do it down the shore all the time they just like Pick it up pick, and move it. Pick up these buildings and move it. And I'm just like, okay. I, I didn't realize you could move buildings. So but. we hope that you like that Delco trivia. We'll do that a lot during our shows. Not only Delco trivia, but also trivia about maybe ourselves. other things. Ourselves. Yeah. Because um, you need to know everything I was gonna. Had. I was going to ask uh, what age you thought I was. People. Answer general. on your birthday. Can I tell them? Yes. Monica is 34 today. Woohoo! Happy, yeah. happy birthday. What a way to bring in a birthday. First episode of Delco Duo. Love it. If you want to email us your problems, please do. Or just how you like the show. Um, <laughs> we don't want to know that. If you don't, don't like it, don't tell us. <laughs> Delco Duo at PHL17.com. You stay completely anonymous or DM us. Yeah, social media. You can find us. I'm Jenna Meisner TV on Instagram. Monica PHL17. We Thanks so much for joining us. Thanks, guys.